After the installation of the Adobe Author, the next step that we need to do is to copy the materials that we have. For example, we have a Word document like this, so simply need to copy everything part by part or by paragraph. So after copying, paste it and make sure you press enter twice, one, two, before you proceed to the next paragraph. So here, copy again, copy, paste, and then press again, enter twice, one, two, and copy the next paragraph. Copy, paste. So that's the first part of our instructional video on how to copy the materials from a native file. Thank you. For our next tutorial, it will be adding image into our ebook. For example, I want to add the image in front of the word after. So to do that, you need to press enter and place the image right on top. Take note. Place the image right on top. Hit the word image and search for the file that you wanted to add. In this case, I want to add icon number one, hit the word open and fix the necessary things. Our height should be 60. The margin is set to zero. The position is set to fix. Those are the only things that we need to change in terms of putting our image. Nothing to do with the animation. Let's make it preset. Hit the word create. Now, if everything is in place, simply hit the word customize and you can view it on your desktop screen. This is how it looks like. If you choose your Samsung Galaxy phone, it looks like this. If you rotate it, it looks like this. Now, you can try it out. Thank you. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add the gallery. Gallery is a composition of different images. So to do that, simply locate an area would you like to have the gallery. In this case, I will put it in between this paragraph and in this paragraph. So it's here. Hit the word gallery and add the images. Locate it in your desktop computer. Select the pictures. And after the selection, everything will be reflected. In the caption, indicate figure one for the first image. For example, in here, figure one, lamprey. Figure two, shark. Figure three, crocodile. Figure four, frog. Figure five, an eater. Figure six, stingray. Figure seven, fish. After everything is in place, please make sure to edit the following. For the enlarge, make it contain so that all of the images are seen in one glance. The margin is set to zero. Hit the word create. Now, you can view it by hitting the word customize. For example, I'm using my desktop screen. It will now look like this. So to view the picture, simply hit this arrow button to move. Likewise, if you will use other devices like an iPad mini, it will look like this. Simply rotate it if you want and hit again the arrow button. Now, test it out in your ebook material. Thank you. For the next part of our tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use Link. Link is an easy tool in Kotobi wherein it will give you a pop-up message or a pop-up image. 
for the meantime, we'll have first a pop-up message. It's like giving us the meaning of a certain difficult word. For example, in this item, I would like to have core data. If you want to use this as a link, simply highlight the word and choose or click link. Through that, locate the word pop-up message. Then, simply type or copy paste the meaning of that difficult word. For example, Chordata is a large phylum of animals that includes the vertebrates together with the sea squirts and landslides. They are distinguished by the possessions of a notal cord at some stage during their development. Since I want that sentence to be placed, I'll put it there. Edit something, and you can simply put the source, especially if that sentence is not yours. I'll indicate the source that that is in Wikipedia. Hit the word create. After that, you are now ready to view it by clicking customize. Now, you will see here that for data has already a hyperlink. Once clicked, that's the pop-up message. Now, try it out. Thank you. Now, we move on to the next step. I will teach you how to search for images in Google wherein these images are in Creative Commons. For example, I want to use or search for the word Eurocore data and for you to have the creative rights or the common creative rights or OER, simply hit the word tools, click usage rights, and choose label for use. Everything here is allowed or it will allow us to copy because it is under the Creative Commons material. I hope this type of things you will copy the contents in your material or in your ebook freely. Again, Please take note that not all images in Google are actually free. Simply click the word tools and look for the label for use for us to be safe in using image files. Thank you. You have learned how to locate pictures or images in Google Images for free, which is under the Creative Commons Avenue. Let's now have another activity for the link. This time, instead of text, we'll be having images. So to do that, simply highlight the word that you would like to have a pop-up as an image. Like for example, this one, Bureau for Data, I'll hit link, and this time pop-up message, but it will be no longer text, but it will be image. Locate the file in your computer, search for the that indicates you look for data. And once there, simply hit the word create. If you have another one like this one, say follow for data, simply hit the word link, pop up message, design image. And simply hit the word create. And again, if you have vertebrata, highlight that. Click the link, choose image, locate the file, and hit create. Now, to view it, simply hit the word customize. For example, I am using an iPad mini. Simply rotate it, hit view record data, and that's the pop picture. Hit cephalo for data, that's the picture. Hit vertebrata, and that's the picture. Now, you can try it out. Thank you. For the next step of our tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to attach a video file or a video image into your ebook. For example, I want to add my video file at the end of this paragraph. Simply hit enter and make sure you put it at the center. After that, hit the word video. 
you have an option whether you want to add it by using a URL or attaching a video file that can run offline. Take note, if you choose video URL, it's much lighter because it will look using the internet. How about if you click add video file? Of course, it will be uh, giving us much more file size. So I really suggest that you use Handbrake before placing your videos here. Let's now have the video URL first. So if you have that file, it's simply simple if you have the URL link that you want to copy and then simply paste it. After that, nothing to change anymore, simply hit the word create. To view that, simply hit the word customize. And when you hit play, it will go. This instance is connected to the internet. Hi, friends. Today we will talk about Vert. Now you can try it out. Thank you. Now let's have again another video. Video attachment, but this time not a link, but as a file. Earlier, I have mentioned that we need to use Handbrake so that our uh, video file will not be that large. Let's add now. So hit the word video. Click add video file. Locate it in your computer. Hit open and again, Nothing to be changed. Hit the word create. Now, to view it, simply hit the word customize. The video that we had earlier in the first one is linked to the internet or linked to YouTube. This one requires internet connectivity, but the other one, it doesn't require any internet connection. Vertebrates are animals that have backbones. So if ever our teachers do have their instructional video blending their PowerPoint material using Office Mix, then we could have a video tutorial running offline. Thank you.